G'day everyone. I'm going to briefly explain the Eastern Brown's defensive behaviour and how it's often misinterpreted as aggressiveness. Notice how close I was to the snake in the beginning and its first reaction was to flee. The instant I move and progress towards the snake, you notice it pauses and is now determining whether I'm a threat and whether I'm going to continue progressing forward to the snake. I now shift to block the direction the snake wants to flee and you'll notice it immediately postures up in its offensive position to let me know I'm too close and to back away. I ignore the warning and nudge slightly closer, which then causes the snake to react again by lunging forward, holding the defensive posture in an attempt to make me back away and in an instant turns and attempts to flee in the opposite direction. I then continue to follow the snake and the defensive behaviour repeats itself once again. Notice the reaction when I move. Now I've purposely stood between the snake and some thick vegetation where it can flee and hide. Now that I continue moving, but not out of its path, the snake reacts by lunging forward again and continues to do so until it feels it's safe and I'm no longer a threat. I hope this helps clarify some things, everyone. It's always our actions that will determine whether the encounter with the snake is either good or bad. Always give them respect and the space that they deserve and they will do the same to you. Thanks for watching.